these are the three major types of averages which are taken now everyone knows in in dot trading dot uh, in dot trading view dot com we have learned how to change the time frame have you already discussed multi time frame analysis grandfather father son grandfather was monthly chart okay father was weekly chart son daily chart correct in that understand if i'm talking about a daily chart and if i'm talking about 5 13 26 daily will be like 5 days 13 days and 26 days if i'm talking about a weekly average so weekly type of candle is chosen time frame is weekly then it will be an average of 5 weeks that's going to be a big one 5 weeks average 13 weeks average and 26 weeks average so that's like a half a year almost correct na 26 weeks average that's almost half a year data and if i'm on a monthly chart this is the too much 5 months ka average and 13 months ka average and this is 26 months average is this okay yes so whenever i say 5 13 and 26 depends on what time frame you are in right now it could be either 5 days 13 days 26 days or it could be 5 months 13 months and 26 months whatever you are looking at is this okay so again you want to write this down which is the type of chart and what would be the types of averages shall i dictate okay so write down vertically i'm dictating vertically types of charts vertically write down daily weekly monthly just be a bit fast while writing daily weekly monthly next write down as a column heading first moving average into bracket ma now we have a shortcut first moving average into bracket ma second ma and third ma were horizontally dictated first ma second ma third ma okay just do one thing uh, wherever you have written types of chart made daily weekly and monthly just write down into bracket d w and m so that it will be simple d for daily w for weekly m for monthly okay now vertically for first moving average you have to write down 5d 5w 5m 5d 5w 5m second column vertically 13d 13w 13m 13d 13w 13m and last one would be 26d 26w and 26m is this okay so why i'm clearing all these things when i start taking charts then again i'm not going to tell all these things huh? we are building the basic right now okay that's what we discussed five days moving averages like analyzing one week's data 13 days one fortnight data and 26 days is almost one month's data fair enough in majority cases very important point in majority of the cases five days moving average line is very close to the current market price do you agree with the statement okay i'll give you in a different way what do you think five days moving average line will be more close to the current market price or 26 days moving average line will be more close to the current market price five days because that's like the recent five days data na? so that average if i were to plot on the line that line will be very close to our current market price data of course i'm going to show this all on the graph also so that will be more clear to you but everyone agrees with this so five days moving average line which, which will be very close to the current market price can we go on okay.